Hello and welcome back to From Breaker. So we are heading toward Rosberg. Uh, with Black Rayla, our newest recruit. And this map is huge. So it's gonna be a long journey. Uh, but first of all... Sure about that, but... We need to... I think adjust... Our army. Because it's... It's, it's a bit of a random one right now. And... We actually over... Over cap. I, I didn't make this. This is the default one. And uh, I'm just gonna kick out things that I don't like right away. I don't know if we're gonna go with like a bunch of Rivian Pikemans. I think that could be a good way to... But uh, first of all I need to kick out guys. I think these Trace Bombers are pretty bad. Because 33% chance to do 2 damage. It's very luck based. Like ultimately this could be used to uh, get lucky and get more value out of it. But the the average outcome is is not amazing. So I think those are just gonna get the boot. Uh, but of course the most important part is what the hell do I have? Apparently I don't have any Lyrian Arbalests right now. I can use 200 gold to make some. Uh, which is... How good is this? 4 recruitment cost, 4 power... Uh, 7 recruitment cost, wait. Yeah, I'm right about that. 7 recruitment cost, 4 power... Triggers with Loyals, pretty impressive. It, it's pretty good, so if you have 5 units on the row, then it's gonna be a 9 plus later generate value. So it's pretty good. But then we can have the Lyrian Pikemans as well, which give us uh, 15 value. Well, we might want to put in Black Rayla. Okay, now we have Black Rayla in there. Should I just like kick some pikemans? Regiment Drummer. Uh, actually I don't like the Stray's Cavalry. Maybe I just should just like strip a lot of guys out. Uh, Stray Slingers are not too bad. Especially because... Uh, these are basically 12 for 6. Which is pretty good. These, the Lyrian Sightmans are insane value. Stray's Cavalry's uh, are... Possibly useful, but probably not. They are pretty... Also, they need to play early. So this is a kind of a finisher control card. This is a value generator, and these... Well, they are kind of better at it. Rivian Pikeman. How many Rivian Pikemans I have? Apparently... Uh, I need to make two more if I want to... Uh, go for that approach. Then I'm gonna have 15 points of Rivian Pikemans. Good question if we want that. Uh, I do like the idea of having some Lyrian Arbalus, although this is a bit situational, but it does work well with the, uh, the Rivian Pikeman. Also, I use my Longsword a lot. So that's a 12. In order for the Arbalest to be a 12, let's just say like we use it with 5 dudes a little bit later, then we also use Loyals. The Lyrian Arbalest is pretty, pretty good. This is good. Like Red, uh, Regiment Drummer is also pretty interesting. Uh, although it's like, like it's just like a, a, a 10. Order unit, not a charge. So, yeah, like, if we have... Fuck me. <gasps> How do I do this? So, if we have the Rivian Pikemans, which are kind of, like, okay to have, then I would need to make two more of these guys. For sure. Else it just doesn't really make sense. Then I can put in maybe, like, an archer that I make. I'm not sure what else to really... Uh... 
uh, put in. I'm really tempted to go with the archer here. Yeah. Bear. Horn. Bear lot. I'm really tempted to go with the archer here because we tend to need damage. Blagenberg. Yeah, I don't know about that. I'm not a huge fan of the Stray's Cavalry, but I suppose we can play it early-ish. But we might not be able to kill the guy. I think I'm just gonna make an Arbalest. And that's gonna be the group for now. Also, we do have access to new tech. Uh, we can equip more trinkets. Not too relevant. We can... Uh... What? A units take 10% uh, less uh, um, supply, I guess. Old cost of creating units. Could be nice. Also, uh, we can increase the recruit cap. But it doesn't matter unless we have better units. O'Lyrian oh, Sightmans. Uh, this is the one I actually like checked out before. We can upgrade the Lyrian Sightmans. This is like apparently like upgrades my units. I don't know if it if it upgrades it. But it seems like a good one. Does it actually upgrade my units or do we need to? It, it's apparently Lyrian Sightman Plus. So these guys are apparently upgraded. So they are better. They are they are literally better. So uh, they're just gonna be better. Okay, that looks good to me. The goal here is to uh, be prepared. Whether we need to swarm with points or just deal some damage, we should be able to handle it. And we need to check out the mess stand. We got this guy uh, who's called the Grey Rider. Uh, maybe we should just talk with everybody here. Let's talk to Reynard. How far we've fallen? Why couldn't I see through Caldwell? I don't. You shouldn't beat yourself up. I don't want to like pine about the good old times. Wait, what? It's not voice acted. A bit odd. It's like just a bug. I must go. What about you? So, Gascon, the soldier's life. Does it suit you? Hey, Gascon. <laughs> about the same as the bandit's life did. <laughs> I beg your pardon? The tents are cold, the food's shite. On the plus side, plenty to drink most days. What? How do we have so much drink? A skirmish here, a scuffle there. Nilfgaardians one day, elves the next, and whoever we rout, we rob of what they've got. Requisition, you mean? Fully in accordance with the laws of war. Oh, yeah. I wonder if I wasn't a soldier before. Thinking Gascon. No, please. Save your excuses for your father confessor. <laughs> I don't really care. Time, time to go. I to other matter. What, what about Black Rayla? How fair you, Rayla. The quartermaster, did he assign you a tent? He tried. Oh, and I refused it. Best to sleep beneath the stars. Little chance of a foe catching you off guard. That sounds pretty dumb. Rain accepted, perhaps. I'm not made of sugar, ma'am. I'm not gonna melt. The special forces, how did you come join them? Let's go. I must go. We'll what about this Grey Rider? Oh. Oh, okay. Well, whatever. Let's head out. Maybe we're gonna talk to them later. Let's pick up the stuff. I have to point out, Great Rayla. Uh, you're not exactly that in skip. Well, not really sneaking around. Uh, just like uh, coming with my team. Hmm. Should I? Wait. Pick that up. Uh, 
Okay, seems like it's gonna be like a pretty straightforward path for a little while. Gods, the entire country up in flames. Eptar, he warned punishment awaited Edurn, that he would show the land no mercy. What in God's names did you do to him, Rayla? Nilfgaard offered us an alliance against the rest of the north, but Demaven declined in his clipped soldier's speech. They say Eptar, he flew into a rage and swore he'd reduce Edurn to rubble. It looks like like some kind of a, a meteor shower hit the land. This is just kind of crazy. Look at that. All right, take those apples. See what we have here. Yeah, this is the dead end. This is where we're going. Always check out the dead end. Oh, look at that. Knackers. Are they? Thunder battle. So this should be a good test of my my deck that I just made. Apparently this should uh, only cost points. Uh, should be decided by points. What are we doing? Keep these guys for later. I don't know how many of these uh, suckers we want to use round one. These are extremely valuable. God damn it. <laughs> Um, maybe we're just gonna do Lyrian segment boosted. Time to sow, and time to die. So strong. The crap. Good luck keeping up with that. What is his? Consume the top unit in your graveyard and spawn a base copy of it. So damn ugly. I. I just play three sidemans and that should uh, just take it. He has a big deck. Okay. Ah, should have listened to me, old lady. Yeah. He does have a lot of neckers. He does have a good amount of points. Let's get these suckers out. This would be a good time to play the range units. Doesn't. Not really in the spot. Transform a damage unit into a bear, right? Pretty good use. And maybe do that. Actually, I don't know. Maybe we should just boost the biggest dude when he passes. That's sensible. He's a sensible guy. Yeah, I don't know about that. But that that's a good combo with Gascon. We can pass and gain a card. Good luck. How many neckers he has? It doesn't really matter. So these will get out. The uh, what the fuck? The plus guys. Never mind that. So, we'll get out these guys. But we don't have extra draws. So, we don't have to play Gascon early. We probably want to play the Regiment Drummer early. Left, 
right, left, right. Go with that. Matter. Can I just fill his entire board again. with Neckers? Or die. I don't think he has that many Neckers left. This harvest will be reaping black clad heads. But if he did, he might be in the the situation to Her Majesty knows what she's doing. Oh. I don't have to play it right now. Oh yeah, uh, I gotta play something though. Maybe just play Gascon. Coin never stinks, no matter how rank the pouch. He just likes a bunch of neckers. So can I just fill his board with neckers? That would be so good. Ever have a stone knock out one of your teeth? Hmm. We don't have to play the archer right now. Actually, I should play in the front. Yeah, that's what I was hoping for. Good luck. What do I do? <laughs> Have it the white of an eye from our full eagle way. Uh, I'll just get out the archer. Give me a time. Get this guy. Then, oh fuck, we might actually kill a necker. Well, it's gonna be pretty random. There you go. Have fun, mister. Bigger they are, easier they are to target. Thing about slings, they hide well. Okay. Well, I should probably boost the biggest guy, but at this point it doesn't matter too much. Can't help but feel that his plan a little bit backfired. <laughs> okay, let's go with that. Then we're gonna boost the lowest ally. What now? Passed. There are more deckers. You can. Can't. You lost! Unbelievable. <clears throat> Father. The black cads are advancing from the south. Fortifications along the border in Valkart and Lutin have already fallen. And the devils are setting alight all else in their path. Take what you and mom have of worth and go at once to Rosberg, to uncle. You'll be safest there. I know what you're thinking. 60 years on your brow, 7 wars you've survived, and this one's no different. But it is, Papa. You must be- Trust me, I beg you, you're Keller. I'm a little bit surprised, like, it's it's like a bloody letter. Is, is it like always bloody? Like, this is a very common thing, you know? They, they managed to get the letter bloody, but not enough to make it unreadable. It apparently happens to a lot of people. 
happens a lot. I found a lot of letters like this. Just bloody enough to read, but not not bloody. Well, didn't manage to. I just save it from the well, the stab wound or whatever. Which is fair enough, like... You're not really uh, trying to save the letter uh, when you're getting murdered. But still. Hmm. Oh, look at that! More dudes. Yep. What is this? Maybe I should scout. Can I scout? Yeah, maybe. Maybe scout. Okay. I don't want to uh, miss anything, so. Good. What about this? Any of you see Nimoy? Nope. I haven't I seen Nimoy. Are they just gonna join me? Easy peasy? I'm not even uh, like on friendly territory. Well, maybe they are friendly, but like. This is not my country. Why are you guys joining me? <sighs> well, lady voice. <clears throat> Your Majesty, a traveling merchant has humbly invited you to browse his wares. This is one of my soldiers. What the hell, man? He wishes to be rid of his stock as soon as possible. He's prepared to offer a sizable discount. Okay, so we can get a lot of gold for some wood. Um, nah, let's just get gold. I think we need gold. Thanks for that. I'm not sure why we're keeping so many planks, but it apparently worked out. Valyrians arrived at an ancient, half-desiccated beach. Its trunk sat atop a tangle of thick roots, and scraps of paper covered with tiny scribblings fluttered over it from top to bottom. Travelers crowded all around. Barefoot refugees, bony pilgrims, peddlers with armored escorts, and shifty-eyed men with the haggard look of deserters. The Wayfarer's Beach, Rayla said. Travelers of all sorts swap tales here. Perhaps we can glean something about our enemy's movements. Or paint the enemy a clear picture of our own. Gascon interrupted. Nilfgaardian spies no doubt flock to this tree like flies to particularly pungent dung. I don't know. Maybe we can send a scout there? Meave decided to proceed cautiously. She pitched camp in a nearby clearing and sent a scout dressed as a peddler to investigate the Wayfarer's Beach. Yet long hours passed with no sign of the soldier. Gods be damned! The Queen snarled. Reynard, send some men to follow his tracks. The Lyrians found the scout's body in the woods a few leagues from the Wayfarer's Beach. His corpse revealed clear signs of drawn-out, cruel torture. Meave could only hope he had managed to hold something back from his captors. Oh, that kind of sucks. Sorry, mate. Oh, look at that. Like a scouting thing. Didn't have to scout. Ravens are always trailing up. Be that. These guys are all chill with me. Yeah, you can take my crate with all my belongings. Bush of grain away in my shack, but I'm too fearful to return there. Mm. I could do without this picking up stuff part of the game. I don't much care for it. What? Am I getting attacked? Soon after entering Edern, Meave ordered a halt. She wished to sit with Black Rayla and plan their onward march, for Rayla knew every path in the realm, including ones not drawn on any map. They were hard at work when shouts rang out among the tents. Oi! One final time I shall say it. As your senior officer, I order you to depart the training grounds. Or... Come on, Reynard. Or what, pray tell? You'll have me drop and give you 50? What is the meaning of this? Your Grace, I had thought to use this interval to drill the recruits, teach them to walk, to manoeuvre, Gascon. A world of difference. In perfect harmony must soldiers traverse the field of battle. Otherwise, they could break formation. The enemy would penetrate our lines, and our army could be slaughtered. And therein lies the rub, dear Reynard. Army. 
This is no army, but a band of partisans. If we do not adapt to the rules of desperation, if we adhere instead to the Academy Codex, we shall lose. Gascon does have a point. Laying traps, wiping tracks, that's what we should teach the lads. Not marching to the beat. Well, both could be handy. Can I say that? Oh my eye. The fighting force must have discipline. Otherwise, tactics and planning are impossible. A soldier must obey orders. I'm so neutral. God damn it. Can I just say, like, do both? Show some respect, Gascon. Get so upset, Reynard. Yeah, you need to. Like, what do you expect? Douse your outrage, Reynard. Gascon makes a valid point. Change we must accept, embrace even. Our resources are limited. We cannot do everything at once. Prepare your proposed plans for training the recruits, and I shall decide which we shall follow. Clear? Then get to work. I didn't want to, like, put him down. In front of Gascon. I do want to encourage... Uh, like... My, uh... Soldiers to think for themselves. That, that's a clear plus. Why not do both? Both could be handy. Oh, look at that. A puzzle fight. Isn't that great? <laughs> huh? Enemy to foes. Let's do it. Okay, only one round. <clears throat> Apparently he might just spawn some Neckers. Destroy the highest units. Pop unit from your graveyard. It's, it's a free. So this goes up by free every two turns. This goes up by free. No. Only deploy. Wait, what? Okay, it's a little bit unclear how am I supposed to proceed here. So this is gonna be a, a 10. Can't really damage that. Okay, let's just Don't start playing. The problem with fucking puzzles, time. I'm just gonna straight up say it, I said it like a billion times, is that puzzles are not something you play to figure out. Puzzles are just, I'm staring at the screen, trying to figure out some math problem. But, no, I tried to wing it. Pissing in the mort? Oh, it's dead. Oh, it actually goes up by. I see. So this is gonna go up to twelve. It's gonna be a right good levy, big and beautiful. So this is gonna go up to twenty-one. Stop your yapping and start digging. Yeah, it, it's already not gonna work. We need to restart. Again, not playing, just figuring out. I, I could just get, get like a math problem, it would be literally the same thing. So... How do we do this? If I drop this down... It's gonna be a right good levy! Big and beautiful. Oh, well, it's gonna go up by quite a bit. Stop your yapping and start digging. It's gonna go up to 15, and that's not gonna work out because this is at. Then this is gonna go up to. 
Yeah, that actually is gonna work gonna out. Need, um, three buckets of nails and a tub full of pegs. Yeah? Don't you worry yourself, your grace. We'll get her done in no time. Let me burn it. I can just play the Rivian. It's not that hard, obviously, but... Pissing in the moat? Oh, obviously, dead. I just had to think about it a little bit. What the fuck, puzzles? What? I need to kill everything? What do you mean I was overpowered? I killed everything. Okay, explain. Oh, eliminate all foes. Well, of course, there is a catch. So, there is a way to leave up a necker with one point. That's not good enough. What I instead need to do... This goes up to 10. This goes up to 17. Then this goes up to... To 12. I don't know. 13. And we can burn it along with the all ghoul. But if the all ghoul... But in order to... Well, the all ghoul is gonna eat that. And we can drop it down to 13. By hitting it twice. But then I can only drop it down to 9. And actually that would work. So I do I just need Stop to spam on the all ghoul? Gonna need um, three buckets of nails and a tub full of pegs. No, I, I think I'm wrong about that. Don't you worry yourself, your grace. We'll get her done in no time. I think I need to need, hit the necker once. Because this is gonna go up to 17 now. Huh? Pissing in the oh fuck, no. Oh, I actually, dead. I made a mistake here. So this is gonna go up to... Well, actually, actually not gonna go up to 16. It's gonna be a right good levy. Big and beautiful. <sighs> Alright. Can't wait to do this puzzle. Flipping love these. If I wanted to do good puzzles, I would be like... I don't know, programming or shit like that. Don't you worry yourself, your grace. We'll get her okay. done in no time. Pissing in the moat? Oh, you're dead. Let's hit that. 15. Let us go. Yeah. I think we're good. It's gonna be a right good levy. Big and beautiful. Fuck, how do I do this? Because it goes up to 13. Stop your yapping and start digging. I think we're good. Yeah, yeah. Because it's not gonna eat. Oh shit. Well, it goes up to 6. No, no, no. It no doesn't go up to 16. Good. Gonna need um, three buckets of nails and a tub full of pegs. Alright. Good. That was the only way to do it. What a satisfying battle. Oh, damn it. <clears throat> Inhabitants of Lapis Feld. As you know, Adrian has betrayed, has been betrayed. Our forces, taken by surprise, now face severe shortages. I urge all who are able to support the war effort with a donation. Valkmir, son of Zenak. Um, has been authorized to supervise the collection. Donations must be brought to his mill before the end of the week. From there, they shall be delivered to the soldiers in need of at, at Rosberg Fortress. Mayor Godzimir. Really? Lokmir, Zenek, Godzimir. Zenek kind of sounds like some kind of a sleeping pill. Anyway. What? What a name. It'd just be called like Bob. Okay, let's see what else we have. Seems like it didn't work out so well. Like, just give me that crate. Oh, 
I don't really wanna pray. <gasps> Golden chest! Black Rayla! Alright. Screw that. Oh, this is interesting. So, we're just gonna explore the whole place. Then, we're gonna go to a bridge. And then we don't have to worry about this place ever again. Yeah, we're taking that. Seems like we're finding more resources. Uh, that's definitely uh, uh, something we gotta consider. And uh, I can probably afford an upgrade soonish. Burn the field. But who burned the field? Because if the Nilf Guardians burnt it, it's stupid. If the Adernians, Adernians built, burnt it, maybe it's not as stupid. But I, I doubt they would do it. Proclamation. Inhabitants of Bromfell are hereby offered to vacate the village by nightfall. Failure to comply will result in punishment of the highest order. Alzer uh, Kerzir. <clears throat> Duke are whatever. Some pump sass. Just write that. Did our oats not suit the Emperor? However did our oats and other plantings harm him? Your Grace. Meave heard Reynard call out from behind her. The scouts returned. Claims to bear an urgent message. The Queen halted her horse and waited for the soldier to reach her. He abandoned all formalities and jumped straight to the point. Milady, a black-clad caravan, armed to the hilt, rides this way. To believe the rumors, they're hauling a load of war loot back south. Reynard gave the soldier new orders, then turned to Meave. Hmm. Sounds like a prime opportunity to replenish our coffers. Sounds good. Kill him. Indeed. An opportunity we cannot ignore, the Queen said. Your unit will block their path. Gascon and his men will hide in the woods and strike their flanks, while I shut the trap, attacking from behind. Their plan established, Meave gave the signal to move out. A brief moment later, the fight began. There we go. We need to kill him. Expose the trap? Like, not his puzzle? I love those. Only one round. No, it's actually my. Um. Deck. Okay. I do have movers. Oh, fuck. The caravan is immobile as well. How do how does that take damage? Is triggering the ambush the only way to win? Really hope not. I don't know. What am I supposed to do with this? Black Rayla. They're all immobile. Okay. Drive them into the ambush. Follow me! And I move Gascon's ambush. But even if I could, I don't think that's gonna matter. Aye. So it doesn't seem like there's an obvious or even any way possible way to. Order! Make it happen, unless I need to use the, the the wagon. Okay, that's actually concerning. Ah, should have listened to me, old lady. It probably doesn't matter that Life I have points. Is mine now. This harvest will be reaping black clad heads. Okay, that's good enough. These are pretty strong. Alba! So... Do I need to expose the trap? That's a hint. But is that the win condition? 
I can just get him in position and not use him, right? That's fine, right? I can just play Black Rayla. You'll never take me alive. Sure. Decent. As long as we don't have to trigger the ambush, then we are fine. I can play anything from the deck. Depleted order. I can play. Discipline shall bring us victory. Wow, that really? We can get 15 points. I can play the Arbalest to maybe kill the that guy. I don't know. Wait, do I have to play it now? Fuck, I think I do. That's six damage. So that's basically... Oh, never mind that. Yeah, this is boosted. So this costs four. So it's gonna be a seven plus... Plus six. Which is pretty damn good. This is a... Uh, yeah, I, this is gonna get me more. Give me a target. Hmm... What? Oh yeah, I still need to play something. Hey. I can move Gascon's ambush, but I can't move the caravan. I can't move the I can't move Gascon's ambush next to the thing, I believe. Because move always moves to the right and uh these are immobile. Let's do that. I really hope. I don't know how would I even do this. Do I have some kind of scorch? That would help. I don't have it. I don't know how would I do this. Would I need to use like a big wagon? Wagon? Stuff like that? I don't know. I hope that uh, that ambush is only optional. Ever have a stone knock out one of your teeth? Okay. Damage unit into a bear. Yeah, but it needs to be damaged. Hopefully, that's gonna happen. Else, this Mardrim could be just completely useless. Wow! Enemy? How about just like... They like hitting the Lyrian Scythemans. I bit the white of an eye from half a league away. Okay. We don't have a damage unit, which is pretty concerning. Lyrian Murloc will be good. Lyrian Horn will be good. Mardrum Bear? Oh, we can play the Lyrian Horde now, and it's gotta be pretty much max value. Off to the front yet again. Yeah, they just keep hitting the Lyrian Sightmans. I don't think this ever gonna work out. Maybe I should just dump it. And that's it. Oh, you had to do something. The 
that that bear card is not the best. I think we might need to kick it. Obviously, like, it was terrible this time. Lyrian Horn is decent. Come on, enemy. Make your move. Yeah, always gonna do the same thing. We can just do Delirium Merlot now. I'll just do Delirium Horror. Wait, what? What? Oh my god, really? <laughs> if I knew that, I think we're just gonna lose. It's the same dumb thing. Okay, obviously my definition of damage needs updating. I thought, like, damage means it actually takes damage. But no. We can just, like, like ping the caravan, and apparently that does it. Pretty bad. But what if we don't trigger? Well... What if we don't trigger? Thingy. Because I still overpower him without the ambush. Isn't that the whole point? <gasps> what the hell, game? Off to the front yet again. The Do I lose? Ours, milady. No, that's a win. And that wasn't really clearly... Uh, that wasn't really clear. If we're gonna lose. Or... or in that case. But no, that was enough. Oh, look at that. Their plan ended the in success, the Nilfgaardians crushed. As soon as the dust had settled, Neve tore the canvas off the nearby wagons to see what precious loot they had so carefully guarded. She expected to find gold, jewels, or exquisite silks. Instead, she saw dirty, terrified figures bound in chains. Slaves, Raynard muttered. Their precious cargo. Slaves. Behold the glorious future the Empire brings us. No! Slaves? No, no way! I was expecting something a lot better than that. I have to use my... Well, come on. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna have some slaves now. Meave ordered the prisoners freed and discovered no! they were Dernian peasants on their way to dig canals and dredge swamps as forced laborers. You are free. You can return to your homes, the queen said. If she expected words of thanks and gratitude, she was in for a disappointment. What the fuck? You don't just set slaves free when you find them. They already went through the trouble of making them slaves. That's the hard part. We can just keep them. Meave, what the fuck? What arms, my lady? Asked one of the peasants, holding back tears. Took our land, they did. Nothing we have now. Not a rug to wear, not a crumb to eat. Leave us, we die. Soldiers don't do us in, monsters will. Us human hunger and cold don't get us first. The queen was about to answer when she heard Gascon, standing behind her, whisper, Before you make any rash promises, please, some maths. Dozens of hungry mouths to feed, and weak bodies to defend, twice as many tired legs to wait for. While war rages all around, you do realize you cannot save everyone. But slaves, Gascon! Slaves! Let the freed slaves join you. Let the freed slaves do their fate. I don't know, this is tough. Gascon, you make some good points. But we did just take over a caravan. And they just, uh... 
be useful in any way, let them join. I attacked this caravan hoping to fill my coffers, the Queen said. Instead, I have only secured a new drain upon them. But, very well. In these ill times, we northerners must help our own. Women and children in the wagons. The men shall march alongside to the rear. I warn you, if you cannot keep pace, we shall leave you by the roadside. Move out! The Queen's gaze momentarily caught the eyes of an old woman her soldiers were helping onto a wagon. Tears of gratitude poured down her soot-stained face, across hard lines left by years of destructive toil. Meave was convinced she had done the right thing. Yeah, of course! When you find slaves, you keep them. Fuck. Oh. Oh, I get it, Maeve. You're playing the long game. She let the... She told them they are free, but they have nowhere to go. So, the, s the slaves there are not st totally stupid, stayed. Ah, oh, get it. Okay, Meeve. Obviously, like, some of them are not very useful. But, you know, it's a long road. We might lose a cart or two. Anyway, uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching and see you next time.